The Couple Next Door, written by Peg Lynch and starring Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce. Betsy, I want you to go to sleep, darling. Oh, I can't, Mommy. I'm so excited. Well, the quicker you go to sleep, the sooner it'll be morning and you can rush downstairs and see what Santa Claus left for you. <laughs> Come on, cover up, darling. Mommy? Mm-hmm? Mary Lou said there isn't any Santa Claus. Oh. Is there, Mommy? Well, I wouldn't believe everything Mary Lou says. My goodness, remember when she said New York was in California? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you see, Mary Lou doesn't know everything. She said I was silly to believe in Santa Claus. But you know what I said? What? Well, I said I wasn't going to take a chance. If I didn't believe in him, then it might hurt his feelings and he wouldn't stop at my house tonight. Well, I think you're a very wise little girl. <laughs> now you go to sleep. Kiss Mommy. Mm. Close your eyes, darling. Mommy, do you think Santa Claus would bring me a dollhouse with furniture? Well, I don't know, dear. I thought you wrote him a letter. I did. I certainly hope it didn't get lost in the mail. Oh, I don't think so. But a dollhouse is so big. How can he get it in his pack with all the rest of the toys he has for the other children? Well, I wouldn't worry about it, honey. I'm afraid the furniture will fall out. When I wrote to him, I said I thought it would be better if he didn't put it in his pack. I suggested he put it in his sleigh. Uh-huh. Well, I think that was a very good idea. And I'm sure you appreciated your suggestion, dear. <laughs> now you go to sleep. Close your eyes. Oh, I'm so excited. I know you are. You try real hard. Good night, darling. Sleep tight. Good night, Mommy. Oh, well, she asleep? No, no, no. Too excited. Where's Aunt Effie? Uh, she's in my den wrapping presents, apparently for us. I got strict instructions not to come in. Oh, <laughs> I see. Well, what do you think? Shall I start bringing all the presents down from the attic? No, no, not yet. Let Betsy get to sleep. Have you wrapped all yours? Oh, golly, I haven't even started. Where's her dollhouse? In the attic. I didn't even take it out of the box in case she went up there. Oh, I can't wait to take it out and put the furniture in. <laughs> Honey, you're as excited about it as she is. I know. Well, let me know when she's asleep, and I'll start hauling things down from the attic. <laughs> This evening on CBS Radio, Bing Crosby invites you to celebrate Christmas with the world on our fourth annual Christmas Sing with Bing. With Bing as your guide and CBS Radio as your magic carpet, you'll visit Rome to hear the Vatican Choir. There, too, you'll hear the sound of the bells of St. Peter's as they ring for the holiday mass. On our Christmas Sing with Bing, you'll visit New York and Salt Lake City, Canada, Australia, Holland, France... Even places like Hawaii, Alaska, and the Fiji Islands, where carolers and choirs will be waiting to sing the traditional Christmas songs with you. To add to the excitement this year, Mrs. Bing Crosby, Catherine Grant, will be at her husband's side. Now, whether you spend this evening at home or out on the highway heading for a holiday destination, join us on CBS Radio, won't you? As most of these same stations present our fourth annual Christmas Sing with Bing. My gracious, where are all those presents coming from? Out, the out, attic. Out, out of the way, out of the way. Oh, here's, here's another arm. Here, let me take them, dear. Don't just dump yeah. them down now, here. Oh, boy. Shall I put some of the small ones on the tree? Oh. Yes, the tiny ones. The Golly. others I'm just arranging around here. Boy, you should see that attic. I've hardly made a dent in a stack of presents up there. I'm already worn out from going up and down. Well, I just put everything that arrived up there, darling. Betsy's been so snoopy getting into closets and prowling around. Where'd they all come from? <laughs> Relatives, things that arrived in the mail, and I noticed quite a few sent out from the stores here. I suppose these are gifts for Betsy from your business associates, you mm, know. I must say, I think children nowadays get entirely too much. I can remember when we were lucky to get even five presents at Christmas. We usually got one big one, something special, from Mom and Papa, mm -hmm. and then the others were presents we'd give each other, usually handmade things like crocheted bookmarkers or pin cushions. Uh-huh. Well, <laughs> I can't help it if people send Betsy things. No. Anyhow, I put all the presents in the attic, things for each of you and for the family, you know, and they... You know, there's some things tomorrow. there that aren't wrapped. No, no, th these are things I bought for the dollhouse. Did you, did you bring that down yet? Yeah, I guess that's what's in that big box. Oh, yes. Yeah, so open it up so we can put things in. Look, look at this. <laughs> Here's the living room furniture oh, for the dollhouse and the oh, dining room and the kitchen and the bedroom. Right there, darling? 
Look at, at the refrigerator. It oh. opens and even has an ice tray compartment. Oh, Isn't see. that just oh. darling? Kelly, look wait at till, that. Wait till you see the food. The food? Yeah. Well, it's just artificial, but it is just oh. adorable. Look, oh. plates with bacon and a, a oh. tiny little yeah. fried oh, egg. Nice. Here's a cake, donuts, steak. Oh. Yeah, look at the steak. What's that, a bottle of ketchup? Oh, oh yes, and a sack of flour and milk oh. bottles. Aren't they tiny? Why, yeah. I never saw anything like it. Oh, if they'd had these things when I was little. Mm. Oh, and look, 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 for the fireplace. Oh. Little fire tongs, broom, and a poker, and a little wood carrier, too. Hey, for Pete's sakes, what's that, a magazine rack? Uh-huh, with tiny little <laughs> magazines and yeah. a newspaper. Yeah. And look, look, here's a pair of tiny candlesticks for the dining room table. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and look, look at this. Oh, it's just You know dark. what? I think I should have given you a dollhouse for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd have loved yeah. it. I tell you, I've had more fun buying these things. I can't wait to arrange the furniture. Get the dollhouse out of the box, all dear. All right, all right, all right. How about curtains for the windows? Oh, yes, they're here somewhere. I, I made those, and there's, yeah, mm-hmm. and there's bedding for the beds, and bedspreads, and what? sheets, and... I and... thought it was all put together. Well, it is. Look at... Look at... Oh! What? The man assured me, the man assured me when I My bought it. My goodness, take a carpenter put that together, won't it? I told the man, I said, now, I don't want this if it doesn't come already assembled. I said my husband was sick and tired of spending every Christmas Eve putting things together. Are there any directions? I even spoke to the manager of the toy department, darling, and he was standing nearby when I bought it, and I said, now, can you assure me that this dollhouse comes already assembled? And he said, oh, yes, madam. Well, we yes. will take it back. Oh, we'll take it, take it back. Oh, Take it back. Betsy has her heart set on oh, this. Oh, yes, my goodness. The stores are closed now. You certainly can't take it back before Friday. And it won't be the same if she doesn't get her dollhouse for oh, Christmas, no. dear. Oh. Look, look at these directions, will you? To begin with, I don't think I could even read them without a magnifying glass. Are there any nails or screws or anything? Oh, yes, yes, there are. A bag full of them. Look, look, oh, look at it. Oh, honestly. But well, the man said, if anything, there would be a couple of things to hook on, like the roof. You look, look, my gosh, listen to these directions. Would you think we were going to assemble a jet plane or something? Well, now, now look, we'll, we'll help, dear. What would you need besides a hammer and a screwdriver? A construction engineer. <laughs> oh, my, isn't this typical? I remember one time my father had to put the foot pedals and chain on a bicycle for George. And really, I tell you, it spoiled his Christmas. Oh, ah, well, I'll tell you, you might as well go to bed, you two. I'm going to be up all night. Oh, now, darling, we will help you. And Effie, Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, now, you get the various sections out on the floor, and let's see what we've got. In the meantime, honey, you study the directions. Yeah, study is right. Step number one. Wait a minute, now, attach side A, I think it says, of section four to corresponding side A of section two, securing firmly with bracket, being careful to allow what later for... Roof panel and chimney to be inserted and attached mm-hmm. as in step number 12. Oh, for Pete's sake. Well, will you hold it? I am well, holding it. I don't think the stairway goes up that well, way. Well, it has to go up this way. There isn't any other way for it to go. There's a hole for it in the second floor there, don't you I see? I know, dear, but well, then I think you have the walls wrong uh, down here, or else they're wrong in the upper part. Well, the stairway is not supposed to wind up in a bathroom, even in a dollhouse. Oh, shall I read step number 10 again? Yeah. What I think we'd better do is call Mr. Dibble. Oh, oh, you're not going to call Mr. Dibble on Christmas Eve to help put up a dollhouse. Oh, let me have the directions again. Let me here. look. Here. Gracious, it's midnight, and we still have to arrange everything in the dollhouse after he gets it put together. Yes, I know, Aunt Effie, but that won't take long. Why don't you go on up to bed, Aunt Effie? I'm sure Betsy will have us awake early. Oh, no, I want to help if I can. I'll go make some coffee. (sighs) What what, what, what are you looking for? Well, there seem to be two brackets missing. Oh, well, get up off the floor. I'll look for them. Oh, what a mess around here. Uh, In attaching the stairway, make sure that panel six is at right angles to to something I can't... Well, it doesn't fit that all. The fact's on the roof. It just doesn't May fit. May I make thing. a suggestion? I, uh, just uh, leave him alone at this point, Aunt Effie. No. 
<laughs> well, it, 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 make, it just doesn't fit, I'm telling you. It well, makes me so dumb. I just wanted to say you, I think he has it on backwards. No. Uh, maybe she's right, dear. <laughs> three o'clock. It is three o'clock Yes, in the I know, morning. dear, but, I, I, but try the roof some other way, not yeah. the other way. Dear. You're, you're tired. Dear. Tired? I'm not only tired. I am so mad at that department store. Well, that, that I am, would... too. The man assured me, dear, even the manager of the toy department, and I'll certainly speak to them next week. Next I week? Yes, next week. I'm going to speak to them right now. Right, well, I'm... right now? Yes. Oh, not right. Yes. You were not going to... Call anybody at this hour, Christmas Eve? Yes, Christmas Eve. Okay. Now, look, I, I have to spend six hours of my Christmas Eve because that, that store made a mistake. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to charge them. Charge them what? I'm going to charge them for labor. Oh, that, honey, yes. don't be silly. Charge them for now, labor. $2 an hour. Now, now, wait a minute. That's $12 they owe me. In fact, it, it's 11 minutes after three, so they, they owe me $12 and 37 cents. For which I intend to submit a bill. Oh, now, calm well, down, baby. No, no store is going to pay you for assembling a dollhouse you bought there. Now, dear, please, calm, calm down. Now, and let's get the roof put yeah. on. Try it the other way, Where's dear. the phone book? Uh, really, you are not going to call the manager of the store. No, I am not. I intend to call the owner. Oh, honey. That is right. That is right. But, look, just a... Your toy department assured us that this doll's house would be would come all assembled, yeah. all set up. No, so it most certainly did not. I have spent six hours of my Christmas Eve putting this darn thing together. I that is right, six hours I have spent uh, honey, on Honey, really. Honey. I think it is terrible his calling the man at this hour. Oh, I well, I, I I appreciate the fact that you that you recognize that I have a right to be sore about it, but I want you to know that I intend to submit a bill to your store for my time. At two dollars an hour, I'm charging you. Dear. Your store owes me twelve dollars and thirty-seven cents for labor charges, and I haven't even got the roof on. Oh, really? I'm going to be ashamed to show my face in that mm. store again. Andy. Yes, you know I am, Piper. That is right. Twelve dollars and thirty-seven cents. What? Oh. Well. Well, that that's very nice of you, sir. Well, yes. Well, it, yes, it's, it's thir 13 Rainbow Lane. He's sending me a check. He is? A check? He's sending me a check. What? Yes. Yeah. Well, that, that is certainly, uh, I mean, and well, look, I, I feel I ought to apologize for being so unpleasant about it. I mean, I guess it really is a heck of a time to call anybody, but I just got so. Huh? What did he say there? Hmm? Huh? Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, well, good luck. Uh, yes. Uh huh. Well, Merry Christmas to you, too. Oh, well, goodbye, sir. <laughs> what in the world did he say? <laughs> what did he say? Well, I, I didn't wake him up at all. He knows exactly how I feel, he oh. says. He is putting together an indoor jungle gym that his store said was only a matter of a few nuts and bolts. He's been at it for five hours. Oh, no! Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> no, isn't that how about funny? It? <laughs> and he's really sending you a check for $12.37? Yeah, yeah. Labor charge? Yeah. Oh, I can't believe yeah. it. I was shocked that you called him, dear. Why? Really, Look, I just... all stores well. want their customers to be satisfied. Mm -hmm. If your complaint is reasonable, and mine certainly was, they'll listen to you. However, I must admit, I didn't really expect him to send me a check. No, honestly. You know, by golly, it's a funny thing. When something when something nice like this happens, you think, by golly, there is a Santa Claus. You know? <laughs> <laughs> of course there yeah. is. Now, come on, get the roof straight on the dollhouse, and let's get some sleep. <laughs> Betsy will probably have us up at six. <laughs> The Couple Next Door is written by Peg Lynch and stars Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce with Margaret Hamilton and Francie Myers and is produced by Walter Hart. This is Stuart Metz, inviting you to listen again tomorrow for The Couple Next Door.